Hello. In today's lesson, we're on page 257 of the second grade goal math textbook. We're doing lesson 5.8 today. And our concept today that we're going to practice is add to find differences. So the essential question is, how can you use addition to solve subtraction problems? We've kind of talked about this in a couple um, word problems from previous lessons. So after I read the problem, I want you to draw a picture to show the problem, and then I want you to write a number sentence for your drawing. Okay, so here's the question. Sophie had 25 markers. <clears throat> she gave three markers to Josh. How many markers does Sophie have now? So again, the numbers that I gave you were she had 25 markers and she gave three markers to Josh. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, draw a quick picture or any type of picture to solve, to show the problem. And then I want you to write a number problem to show what your picture is showing you. Okay, all right. All right, so 25. All right, that's what I'm going to do. She has 25 markers. Somebody else might have drawn 25 circles. Okay. Um, but this is what I'm going to show. Two tens and five ones for 25. And she gave three markers to Josh. That means she gave them away, right? So we're going to take three of the ones away because we do have enough ones to do that. And so my number sentence would be 25 minus 3 equals 22. And so next to the word markers, we write 22. Okay. Now, on this next part, um, again, I want you to draw a picture to show the next part of this problem and write a number sentence for your drawing. Okay. So. What would happen, or how many markers will Sophie have if Josh gives the three markers back to her? So go ahead and show a picture to show that problem, and then write a number sentence on the line and show me how many markers she'll have. Okay, go ahead and pause the video until you're finished. All right. So we know that she has 20. Two, right? And if Josh gives those three back to her, wouldn't we just add three? So our number sentence would be 22 plus three equals 25. So she would have 25 markers again. Now, why is this important? Why are they having us do this? Because basically this models the idea of a math fact. 25 minus 3 equals 22. If that's true, then 22 plus 3 equals 25. Or we could say 25 minus 22 equals 3. So they're related, right? Just like any other math fact. All right, so let's look at page 258. So we can count up from the number you are subtracting to find the difference. So if we have to take away 38, let's start at 38 and count up till we get... Sorry about that, we froze again. Let's start at 40, let's start at 38, and let's count up to 40. All right, so 38 to 40, that's just plus 2, right? And now let's count from 40 to 45. We should be able to do that in our head. 40 plus 5 is 45. So if we add up how much it took us to go from 38 to 45, that tells us the difference of the problem. So 45 minus 38 is the jumps we made. 2 plus 5 is 
seven. Okay. Right, use the number line and count up to find the difference. 36 minus 27. So let's start at 27 and let's go to 30. Okay, how much did we jump? We jumped one, two, three. So let's plus three. And now how do we go from 30 to 36? That's six, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So what is six plus three? Nine. So 36 minus 27 is nine. 56 minus 49. Let's start at 49. And let's just go to 50. Okay, well, that's just plus one. Now let's go from 50 to 56. All right, how much is that? Six plus one, seven. So 56 minus 47, uh, 56 minus 49 is seven. Just as 49 plus seven is 56. 64 minus 58. Let's start at 58 and count up to 60. So we're at 60, now we have to go to 64. Okay, so how much did we jump? We jumped four plus two, six. So 64 minus 58 is six. Okay, let's go to page 259. So what we're showing on the number line is what you can do in your head, okay? I'm gonna show you what I mean by that, okay? And then I'll show it on the number line. 33 minus 28. All right, so I have, let's go to 30. 28 plus what is 30? Two. All right, so I've jumped two. Now 30 to 33, that's three more. So three plus two is five. Now let's show that. So we're started at 28 and we had to go to 30. And then we had to jump three more to get to 33. And th three plus two is five. 45 minus 37. You know what, let's, let's go ahead and do this. Let's put the jumps that we do, let's make a math problem out of it. Two plus three, five, okay? 45 minus 37. So we're gonna start at 37 and go to 40. So plus three, and now 40 to 45, plus five. So we jumped three and we jumped five more. So eight. So 45 minus 37 is 8. 58 minus 49. So we're going to jump 1 to get to 50. And then jump 8 to get to 58. So we have 1 plus 8. Well, 1 more than 8 is just 9, right? That's because it's the next number. So 58 minus 49 is 9. Number seven, there were 55 books on the table. Sandra picked up some of the books. Now there are 49 books on the table. How many books did Sandra pick up? Okay, so we have to find out how many books Sandra picked up. Well, there were 55 books on the table. She picked up some books. Now there are 49 books on the table. Now there are 49. So we had 55, and we have to take away 49. If we take away 49, that'll tell us how many she picked up. We could also say 55 minus the number of books she picked up equals 49. Okay. So I'm going to start to use this one. 49 plus one gets me to 50, and then I have to jump five to get to 55. So we jumped five and one. One and five is six. So she picked up six books.
page 260. All right, solve. You may wish to use the number line to help. There are 46 game pieces in a box. Adam takes 38. I'm not quite sure why it freezes on me. Um, there are 46 game pieces in a box. Adam takes 38 game pieces out of the box. How many game pieces are still in the box? How many game pieces are still in the box? So he started with 46 game pieces and he took 38 out. So how can we show that? Well, we have 46 and we're subtracting 38. And that's going to leave me the number of pieces still in the box. So let's count up. Let's start at 38 and let's go to 40. And let's go from 40 to 46. So 2 plus 6 is 8. So there are 8 game pieces still in the box. And number 9. Rachel had 27 crafts craft stick. Then she gave 19 craft sticks to Theo. How many craft sticks does Rachel have now? Okay, so let's underline the question. How many craft sticks does Rachel have now? She had 27. She gave 19 to Theo. All right, so if we were doing this, we would say 27 minus 19 equals the number she still has left. So circle the number from the box to make the sentence true. Rachel has blank craft sticks now. Well, let's count up, okay? 19 plus what is 20? One. Now let's go from 20 to 27. That would be a jump of 7. 20 to 27 is 7. So 7 plus 1 is 8. Okay, so she has 8 craft sticks now. So what did we do? I counted up to 20 first. And then from 20 to 27. Which is 1 plus 7, which equals 8. Okay. All right, so that's it for using addition to find differences. So until our next lessons, I will see you soon.